are all Biden trials. This is done as election interference. Everybody knows it. I'm here instead of being able to be in Pennsylvania and Georgia and lots of other places campaigning. And it's very unfair. Donald Trump had a busy day in New York courts with opening statements beginning in his criminal trial and a judge hearing arguments over a separate matter in his civil case. A judge approved the $175 million bond Trump secured to appeal his civil fraud judgment. Trump is challenging the ruling from Judge Arthur Engeron that he should have to pay more than $450 million for allegedly inflating the value of his properties for years. An appeals court said Trump should only have to pay a fraction of that sum while he challenges the verdict. Judge Engoran said on Monday that the lower bond can stand with some minor changes to the agreement Trump struck with the bond company. And even more action unfolded in Trump's hush money trial. He told reporters outside the courtroom that he believes President Biden is ultimately behind the prosecution. This is a witch hunt and it's a shame and it comes out of Washington. It's in coordination with Washington, everything, including the DA's office. It's in coordination with Washington. I just want people to understand that. Both sides presented their opening arguments to the jury on Monday. Prosecutors laid out what they called a conspiracy by Trump to suppress negative stories about his past affairs during the 2016 election. But defense attorneys debuted an interesting strategy. They acknowledged that Trump was indeed trying to influence the election. And they argued doing so is not illegal. It's what campaigning for president is all about they argued. Jurors will hear this week from witnesses as the trial unfolds. Defense attorneys previewed their plans to go after the prosecution's star witness, Michael Cohen. Cohen's credibility after pleading guilty to charges that included lying will be a central issue for a jury deciding whether to convict Trump on 34 felony charges. Sarah Bedford for The Washington Examiner.